In outpatient setting, I see mainly concussion, all types of pediatric headaches, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, autism spectrum disorder, and other neurodevelopmental conditions. And inpatient setting, mainly epilepsy and multiple sclerosis and other pediatric neurological conditions. There has been tremendous advancement and progression in the fields of cell biology, evidence-based medicine, new imaging, new medications, surgical procedures, and contemporary genetics uh, in last few decades. In case of concussion, we shifted away from grading system and we are considering and approaching every concussion in the holistic way. There has been more awareness about the second impact syndrome, which is exclusively seen in children and which has highest morbidity and mortality. If we talk about neurodevelopmental conditions like ADHD or ASD, we moved away from DSM-4 to DSM-5 with the modified diagnostic criteria. All this advancement help with the better diagnosis and better prognosis in these pediatric neurology conditions. Most of the patients I deal with are like, you know, neurodevelopmental problems or neurobehavioral, which are diagnosed by clinical rather than by test. So you need very strong clinical skills. I have some very rare neurogenetic conditions and I made those diagnoses, so I feel very uh, accomplished. One case, one is uh, the condition known as CMMD, congenital mirror movement disorder, which is one in uh, one million, So, it, which is very rare. My patient was like, you know, four-year-old girl who was having mirror movement. So when she used to do like, you know, one hand, something like scratching or something, the other hand will go like that. And then when she was trying to pour the water or juice, the both hands were going in same direction and she was spilling. And that alerted parents and they brought her to me. So then I did like, you know, a lot of uh, imaging, genetic testing, and then I gave the diagnosis of CMMD, congenital mirror movement disorder. This is because of some genetic conditions. The while brain is developing, it makes connections. Instead of going to one half of the brain, it goes to other half. So when you are doing like something signaling from one half of the brain, it goes to other hand and then other hand does the same movements. So more effective, less invasive and more child friendly procedures and uh, treatment plans are coming up. At the same time, there is an increased awareness about these neuropsychiatric conditions so that uh, these are taboo subjects and that reduces the stigma surrounding it. So I'm very excited to see all these developments. Patients are, people are coming with more awareness and early diagnosis and early intervention always does very good job. So I think that is what coming up and I'm excited for that.